Magnet biology is a study of how mechanical forces affect living systems. Researchers are spread across many fields, from engineering to life sciences, physical sciences, medicine, and rehabilitation. So at BU, we create a hub to bring people together and accelerate progress. This hub is the center of multi-scale and translational magnet biology, or CMTM. Our center's mission is to serve as the leading nexus for research and education activities that integrate the study of microbiology across lengths and time scales, and activities that develop clinically translatable approaches for enhancing quality of life. The center is unique in its focus on multi-scale and the translational aspects of microbiology. Our center members have unique expertise in approaches to measure, manipulate, and model forces, deformations, and other mechanical phenomena in biological systems. The Human Adaptation Lab is an interdisciplinary lab, and we bring together clinicians, engineers, and biomechanists, and we study how people move, and then also how we can change movement to reduce hip pain. So understanding walking speed and load together helps us understand why there is a presence of pain, and that can help us inform treatments and help people reduce that hip pain. I think it's really interesting that CMTM takes a multi-scale approach, and so we as full body biomechanists are able to understand upstream how we can affect clinical practice, but then also downstream, people are able to take the forces that we collect and they can look at it at the joint, tissue, and cellular level. I hope this work helps us understand what factors contribute to pain and then how we can create pain-free mobility solutions for all. We recently uh, developed the crystal rib cage. Uh, crystal rib cage is a technology where we can image the lung as it's functioning in real time and at the cellular resolution. So as you can imagine, it's a very powerful technology that could uh, basically open a lot of avenues uh, in studying how disease initiates, how they progress, and how we can potentially stop them. In the context of cancer, we know lung is the site of metastasis where uh, cancer cells from other parts of the body come to the lung and uh, form a tumor. The early processes where the cancer cell comes through the blood vessels and then it forms a tumor is not well studied. Why? Because people could not see those events in the lung. It's a very single cell resolution event and it's, it happens early on in the formation of tumor. It's very difficult to be seen by clinical imaging. Our system, our model, allows visualizing these events so we can better understand what are the very earliest steps of tumor genesis in the lung. My group studies how mechanical signals kind of integrate with biological functions, and we have been studying how a particular uh, signaling pathway that responds to mechanical forces controls various biological events in various systems and organs. So we study the signals that kind of gets transduced from those physical forces down to the nuclear level that mediate gene expression responses within cells. The connections that the center has bridged between the medical campus and the main campus has really allowed uh, us to ask questions in a more translational fashion, and that's something that my lab has been focused on trying to do. I feel like the biggest thing that CMTM has given us is this network of people and other trainees who are studying similar stuff. And we've been able to go to conferences together with other trainees from the center, and we've had people um, there to support, help practice for presentations. And it's really just having a sounding board of other people who are doing similar research where we can bounce ideas off of and practice presenting stuff with and also hang out in a casual setting. The thing that I love most about working at the center is basically with all these people around and they are able to inspire me and my work. The amazing core facilities that are always here to kind of help me troubleshoot and figure out what are some better ways that I can do my experiments, as well as communicate with people of highly diverse backgrounds. We're particularly excited about our graduate training program in biological feedback control launched in fall 2023. This training program focuses on bringing together faculty and students who study how biological systems regulate themselves with those who study engineering principles of feedback control. 
This crossover is a key part of the future microbiology and will have large impacts in areas such as healthcare, sustainability, and biodiversity.